What's up, Domino community? And welcome to the behind the scenes of how I built this STEM themed Domino project. Now, especially with National Engineers Week coming up, I thought it'd be fun to make something that's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics related. I'm gonna be using this as a reference image to kind of just visualize how I want to create this design. It's an 11 foot square. That's a pretty big space. I think I can fit a lot of dominoes in here. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. I don't know how many dominoes this is actually going to be. I would like to aim for maybe around 10,000 dominoes. All right, all the letters are now spelled out. So I'm gonna get my template and we can start setting up the domino lines. So this template is gonna help me space it perfectly even in a straight line. This template is actually a little bit wider than the standard line template. I'm actually using a wall template because I think it'll be helpful to have wider spacing when I'm putting dominoes in between to make it curve and like branch off. It also uses a little bit less dominoes, so it'll fill the space a little bit faster. And I decided not to leave any gap in between the rows because I want all of the lines to fall at the exact same time. This does make it a little more risky though, because if I do knock it down, there is a chance that it could knock down the rest of the rows in the field, but I'm willing to take that risk. I think I can do it. And this is how I made the split. I'll be honest, it's a little bit odd, but I did increase the spacing because I needed more room to put these angled dominoes in between. Now onto the E. All of these curved domino lines need to be hand set and they're not lined up on a grid either. I'm just trying to maintain the spacing in between the dominoes so that it's not too far apart. The spacing between every letter is going to be exactly one plank plus one domino height. I will admit building the points of the M was a little more tricky, but I decided to connect the two by making a triangle field coming out. Next up is the S and I'm gonna freehand this. So I gotta be really careful because I cannot use a template. So in between all of my wooden markers, I'm also going to place just a couple of dominoes so then I can use that as another guideline. And then I'm gonna make this inner arc a lot closer together because the spacing by the time we get to the outer outer arc will be a bit wider since this edge is curved. So I can just remove these planks now and just set them up as normal domino lines. Now that STEM is built, I'm gonna start working on all of the fun designs around it. I'm gonna try to make as many as I can, but I'm gonna start by building a rocket. I'm gonna try to model it off of this design. I really like that the flame is very prominent and you can really easily see the body of the rocket. For the windows, I'm gonna use two shades of blue and I'm also gonna use these awesome metallic dominoes, which will be perfect for the metal rim. Next up, I'm gonna build a water molecule. So we've got the two hydrogens bonded to the oxygen. And to build this, I'm gonna be using a automatic circle field starter, which is 3D printed. Now, big shout outs to Marco from Roller Coaster 3 Freak who designed this and created it. Here's how it works. We have a switch bot and a remote. This is basically just a remote to typically press a light switch, but it has been modified. The remote goes inside this case and there's a magnet up here that will latch onto this. And when you put it inside here, look what happens when I press the button, ready? These eight arms extend and that will allow me to topple eight lines at the same time without having a domino line go into the center of the field and then go out. It can just start immediately at the start of the circle field. Test. Nice. Marco did a lot of engineering in order to make this design possible. So big shout outs to him. This is gonna be a pretty awesome trick. So I'm excited to use this in an actual official project. So I'm gonna use this for the center of the O and it's gonna go right in this section over here. I also decided to build the H by placing them on top of the field instead of putting them in the field because I think this will help it just stand out a lot more and you won't see any gaps in between the dominoes. So a domino line will hit the remote which then triggers the oxygen and then the hydrogen topples. 
I'm building Saturn out of dominoes and I'm really liking how it's coming out. I used a couple different shades of orange and the rings are gonna fall before the body of the planet does. And I think it's gonna look pretty cool. And I'm also gonna add a field starter that's taped and it's gonna be like a one-way tape hinge on the ground to start it. These clear dominoes are just gonna be an extension so that it has something to trigger with the main line. I made this tape hinge so that it can switch 180 degrees and I'm going to tape it down here. It's actually gonna replace this domino. So I'm adding another tape hinged starter. So this is gonna go right here and this will begin the light bulb. And so now there's this extra room for a domino line to trigger it and it can only fall in this direction. I taped together this field starter of black dominoes because I realized when this topples, I need a way to trigger this entire row. So I'm actually gonna move all of the dominoes in the field down really carefully. Then we can slide this in. So we have one, two, three dominoes toppling into it, which should knock down the entire field. All right, this is the final design. Next, I'm making DNA out of dominoes. And I've done this in the past, but last time I did it, it didn't work. Like a lot of the crosses didn't actually topple. So I'm gonna change the technique and just use a typical field starter so it branches off more clearly. And I'm also gonna have the strands go over each other on a bridge. So one strand can go and then the second half will go with all of the strands crossing in between. I think this time around it should be a little more reliable. So crossing my fingers, I hope it works. I wanna make this gear out of dominoes, but I'm gonna to try to make it a spiral so it goes around and then it'll branch off and hit all of these spokes. And I'm gonna be using my super special metallic dominoes. These are gonna be awesome because I think you'll be able to really see the reflection of the metal. If you are interested in the metallic dominoes, they're available in my H5 Domino Creations Disney set, which I will leave linked right over here. And I'm gonna use this ruler to measure out my endpoints. So that's a really good way to measure out a circle. Just get a straight edge, the diameter of your circle, and then keep rotating it around to make your endpoints. And now from here, I can just set up the dominoes inside. Always measure things out if you want it to be really precise. I'm also gonna change this so it's not actually gonna be a spiral with one continuous line. Instead, I'm gonna make it concentric circles, and they're going to connect with just an in-between domino like this. So once one line falls, after it makes the complete loop it'll then trigger this which then knocks down the inner loop and so on now to build the teeth of the gear i'm doing another 45 degree angled domino field starter and that's going to trigger four more dominoes to then topple in the perpendicular direction of the spiral going around i'm just going to do a quick test and see if this works Perfect. Engineering at play. Well, now that the test worked, I feel a lot more comfortable about building it in the setup. So I'm gonna build those field starters all the way around and then we can connect it all. This came out even better than I expected, but I just love how it looks and how the light shimmers on the dominoes. Super happy with this. I'm gonna try to build this atomic model out of dominoes and I'm gonna use the crossover technique so that these lines can move over one another. And I really hope that works because there's a lot of different cross sections. All right, this is the general layout. I've made sure that each point is about 18 inches in diameter. I'm just gonna fill this in with a normal domino line. I just toppled it. <laughs> I'm kind of laughing though, cause it was like maybe 20 dominoes, but you know, I just wanted to let you know I failed too. So I built what I could in domino lines, but I realized that if I were to make all of these parts a crossover, it might be a little risky because it's not a direct 90 degree cross. I think I'm just gonna connect it by having them split off like a normal just domino split. I made a little drawing so I know exactly where to split it off. So now that the path is figured out, I'm gonna start building the protons and the electrons. All right, everything is now connected. This is just one of those designs that works perfectly with dominoes. So next in this final gap, I'm gonna be building a right triangle, just a pretty standard triangle field. And I think I'm gonna put the dominoes on top to outline it and then also make the little square for the 90 degree angle. When building triangle fields, every other row is shifted over by half a domino, which means this far side, which is supposed to be a straight line, has these dominoes that are kind of jagged. And as a result, because I can't make that a full white line, I'm going to place dominoes on 
on top to just continue the edge of it. Okay, that actually worked out a lot better. Look how the corners line up. So because all three sides of the triangle are different lengths, this is a scaling triangle. And all the angles are different as well. So I'm actually gonna add another marker on the top section to show that this angle is different than the one down here. But anyways, triangle is done. I've decided to use white dominoes for all of the connecting lines because I want it to be kind of a neutral color and not distract from reading the word stem or any of the icons. Each letter is going to start with a taped field starter of dominoes. I really like how it looks. The white stands out so well with the background and all of the colors around it. And I'm really excited to see it all get put together now. I added a few sideways dominoes to slow the line even more because I want to make sure that this triangle field falls before it reaches the end of the line. Making really good progress. Almost all of the connecting lines are now in place. There are a couple of empty spots, so I'm going to fill those with some more projects. Over here, I'm going to make a circuit board, and then in the top left corner, I'm gonna do something for math. And I also made the pie symbol out of dominoes because I had some more extra space, and this just fit perfectly. And of course, I had to leave a whole bunch of safety gaps just in case something topples. It's not going to topple the entire thing. I also noticed there's this one spot underneath the triangle that could potentially topple the E, especially because there's dominoes on top of it. I'm worried that those could like fly off of the edge and like go right into the green dominoes. So I'm gonna tape together a field starter and place it right in between so I can use that as a barrier and hopefully that will prevent any collisions that we don't want. All right, the last step is just to fill in all of the safety gaps. I'm gonna carefully go in and set up the final dominoes. All the safety gaps are now filled in. So this setup is officially complete. Let's topple it.